All right, welcome back again to How to Draw the Incredible Hulk Part Eight. Okay, so basically, we have every we have Mister Fix to draw. We got the ball and chain, um, which belongs to the Absorbing Man. He's right there. Um, there's really not my mind is pretty much at a standstill as as to what I should add on since we have very limited space right here. So what I'll do is work with what I already have. Uh, folk, beginning with the foreground. So what I'm going to do is indicate that there was a big struggle and between both characters. And, and therefore there was a lot of rubble, everything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and draw maybe like a, some rocks. There we go. Some of these will be cracked, you know what I mean? Just draw them anywhere, everywhere. Okay. There we go. I want to make sure that you see this. Make sure that. Camera is the way it should be. There we go. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and draw, draw some more rubble, rocks, and all that stuff. Okay. Then we'll add in a little bit of a background. Preferably like a like a beat up car, some smoke rising into the atmosphere, and lastly the title. And of course, after the title, we have to provide value to the um, characters, to Mister Fix It and the Absorbing Man. So I okay, draw. I'll go right here. Draw like a little horizon line going across here. Like that. Let me erase the original line. Okay, I'm gonna go focus more on the foreground here. Draw in some more rocks. Another debris. Okay, see if I could squeeze in a, like a car of some sort. Let me see here. Hmm. I don't think I have enough room for that. Sorry. Let's go draw this on horizon line. There we go. Okay, I was gonna draw like a car in flames, but I don't think I have I don't think I have enough room for that. It's, I've, I've my, my space is too limited to draw any kind of vehicle, unfortunately. So I'll just stick with the rubble. I could still draw something in the background. Hmm. That justifies smoke rising up because that would give more zest and interest to the drawing. In retrospect, I should have chosen to draw this image on 18 by 24 inch paper. This is, this is 11 by 14 inch. I'm gonna go ahead and draw. I'm gonna go back in here in the foreground. I'm gonna draw his shoe. Like that. Okay, let me go ahead and draw in a newspaper. 
you're familiar with my artwork, I always, when I, every time I draw like a Marvel type of um, piece, I always etch in like a newspaper. And the fictional news organization I go with is called the Marvel Tribune. Okay, let's see if I can fit those words, fit that in. Which I think sounds better than the Daily Bugle. We're not going to get too fancy with the with the with the carrot with the letters. Just fancy enough to get our point across. The Marvel Tribune. There it is. Uh, main headline: Hulk. We got Hulk. Goes on rampage. Try to use the paper a little bit bigger. You go ahead and rewrite rampage. And then, rest of the article, dot, 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 okay? We're also going to draw another layer of newspaper right here. Have that sticking out. There we go. Make it nice and thick with lots of paper, newspaper, and news and stuff. There we go. The Marvel Tribune. I made that one up. Okay. And we're going to head somewhere from in the background. We're going to have like smoke rising in the background. We'll have it like going in this direction. Okay. Hope you guys can see this. And as the smoke is um, spreading, as the smoke is traveling higher, it's spreading out wider. Just to let you know. Okay, we're gonna get rid of this line of action. We don't need that anymore. Draw some more rubble, rocks strewn about. Okay. Right. And so, what I want to do is make preparation.